All right, so dynamics with damped functions. We're talking about displacement, velocity, acceleration using a damped function. So question, uh, vertical motion of a spring, uh, let's say like the suspension in a car, is given by y equals 0.5 e to the negative t sine 4t. That's a damped function, where y is the distance from the center. So you can imagine you're driving along a perfectly flat road, and then you hit a bump. You hit a bump, the spring compresses, and then it gets larger than it was to begin with, compresses, 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 and then it's flat again and you keep going. So that's what our the vertical motion of our spring is. You hit the bump, and then you keep driving. So when time equals pi, calculate the displacement, the distance of the spring from the center. Um, calculate the velocity, the speed at which it's moving at time t, and calculate the acceleration, the, the, the speed at which it's accelerating at uh, time, uh, time pi. So, there's going to be some uh, derivatives here, because uh, velocity is the derivative of displacement. And there's going to be a second derivative, because um, acceleration is the, is the derivative of velocity. So, first step though, uh, there's no difficult derivatives. We can just sub pi for uh, t into our equation. So, y equals uh, 0 0.5 e to the negative pi uh, sine for pi. Now, now don't be lazy here. Uh, you should be able to give an exact answer. There's no need for us to put this into our calculator and come up with a, with a decimal answer. So we can just say 0 0.5 e to the negative pi and sine 4 pi is going to be uh, 0. I'm going to say that the displacement at time pi is equal to zero. So this, that's the first question. The second question, velocity, that's going to be harder because we've got to find the derivative of this. So if y equals, uh, try again, uh, y equals 0 0.5 e to the negative t sine 4t, uh, what does y dash equal? All right, difficult question. You've got a function multiplied by a function. We're doing derivatives here, so uh, it's a product rule question. Uh, you can see the sine 4t in here, which ends up being like a chain rule. Uh, really, really difficult. Now, we can jump through all the hoops and do the product rule. You might want to pause it here and do the product rule yourself, uh, but there is a sneaky little uh, formula that we can learn for this. So here's your sneaky formula. If y equals capital A E A T sine B T, then y dash equals a e a t times a sine b t plus b cos b t. Um, now you, again, you probably do want to go through this once using the product rule to make sure you can do it because there's no guarantee that uh, we're always going to use an exponential function here. We could use some other function. So you want to be able to do it yourself, but here's a, a shortcut way to do it. So simply put, we can go through this, and we can say that y dash is equal to uh, 0 0.5 e to the little a t. Now that's just negative 1 there, so negative t. So that doesn't change at all. Now it's a, so it's negative 1, so negative sine uh, 4t plus b for cos b t. 40. All right, so now that we've got that, simply put, we can sub in time equals pi, and we can find out what our velocity is. All right, so subbing in t equals pi, we get 0 0.5 e to the negative pi bracket minus sine 4 pi plus 4 cos 4 pi. Uh, that's going to be equal to 0 0.5 e to the negative pi, and then we multiply it by negative sine 4 pi, that's 0, plus 4 times cos 4 pi. So cos 4 pi is equal to cos 2 pi, which is equal to 1. 4 times 1 is 4. So I'm multiplying the whole thing by 4. Uh, so now it should just be 2e to the negative pi. All right, so that's, uh, that's a velocity done. 
Now, to do the acceleration, we're going to have to do a second derivative, y dash. This is where it gets complicated because you've got to do the whole derivative of that. Now, I'm just going to rewrite that, uh, no, actually, the whole derivative of that. I should use this one because it's got the t's, not the pi's. So, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to just expand those brackets because then I'm going to be able to derive a little bit easier. Uh, 0 0.5 e to the negative t um, times negative sine 4t. So there's going to be a negative out the front, uh, sine 4t. And then I'm going to add uh, 0 0.5 e to the negative t times 4 cos 4t. That's going to be uh, 0 0.5 times 4 is 2 e to the negative t uh, cosine 4t. All right. Complicated, we've got one damped function plus another damped function. Uh, actually, that's still y dash. I'm going to do y double dash here. Now, the way that I'm going to uh, derive this is by plugging that into our formula. And then you might have to think a little bit about how to do this one. I haven't given you a formula for cosine yet. You can just use a product rule. The derivative of this times the derivative of this, uh, or you can use a formula. Now, good idea to get some practice using the product rule because there's no guarantee that you're going to use that exponential function all of the time. There might be other functions, other multiplier functions that we can use as well. All right, let's do it. So there's the ugliness in all its uh, glory. You can take a look here. Uh, here's our y equals a e to the a t cos b t. Uh, y dash is a e a t a cos b t, so the reverse of this, minus, not plus, uh, b sine b t, so the reverse of that. Um, probably not a great idea to memorize them. You really want to stop and try getting from here to here using the product rule. I'm not going to do it, but I want you to try it. I want you to show it to me in class. Okay, um, so what do we have? We've got y double dash equals this, which is the derivative of this, plus this, which is the derivative of this. Now all we need to do is sub t equals pi into here, and we'll find out what the acceleration is at time pi. All right, so subbing pi in, uh, what's going to happen? We're going to get 0 here. We're going to get 4 times 1 here, 4 uh, we're going to get uh, negative, negative 1 here, and we're going to get 4 times 0 there, so just a negative 1. Subbing that all in, negative 4 e to the negative pi, there's our acceleration. Um, probably just a little note, uh, you could have expanded here and then simplified a little bit. Uh, not that it changes where we eventually end up, but something to, to consider. You could have expanded simplified. Okay, a um, couple of things to go away and do. These are useful, but you really don't want to rely upon them. You really want to get used to the idea of being able to use the product rule uh, to get from here to here, or to get from here to here, or from here to here, and from here to there. Give it a try.